Yes, I've been teaching for years. I sometimes describe what I'm doing as, as somebody sitting on a three-legged stool, and I'm a composer and a conductor and a teacher. And I think the fact that I've been teaching since the very beginning has made me maybe too verbal about process in both of those other fields. What they learned in school about composition is, is theoretical ideas, not the craft. And I find that I have to start everybody back at the beginning. I did this years ago in my teaching. I learned to do this, and I now it's exactly what I do, is start back at the very beginning with what happens when we open our mouths to sing. What are we really communicating? Are we communicating notes and rhythms? Well, yes, those are, those are the vehicle, but it's not the idea. Are we communicating words? Yes, but very often the words get swallowed up in the notes and the rhythms so that we're not thinking about what the words mean or how we're speaking them as we sing them. They get jammed into the notes. Um, and when people uh, perform, they are so concerned with getting it exactly right with what it is on the page, they don't stop to think that the page is a perversion itself of the sound, because the page doesn't have any sound. There's no sound there. There's nothing that makes a sound in my ear. So that means that any sound that I'm going to draw off of this page, I bring to it. So every the way everybody looks at a page, page of music is different, because we are all different. We all hear differently. So they have all of these notes to deal with. They want to write in four parts, because soprano, alto, tenor, bass, it's as if that came down along with the Ten Commandments. There shall be sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses. It doesn't at all. It starts with one human throat.